Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at using styles in Google Docs. Styles is actually a feature that is utilized to control document formatting, so it will change the appearance of text, but it has the added benefit for accessibility purposes to add structure to a document for purposes of navigation and executive functioning. Many of the assistive technologies used by individuals who are blind and visually impaired rely on those features to be able to navigate long text documents and know where headings are, where chapters are, where captions and things are uh, on images. Applying styles to the documents that you create can go a long way to improving the accessibility of those documents for a wider audience. Before we begin looking at styles, I'm actually going to come into the view menu here in Google Docs and make sure that I have turned on this feature called Show Document Outline. I'm going to disable it right now and come back into it. So showing a document outline will actually display these styles so we can see as we do this the structures that are applied. When people normally format a document they tend to just use the formatting tools that are here. So we might change the font for the title of a document to be darker and larger than everything else on the page. So visually to our, our eyes and our brains it stands out. But the computer actually doesn't always see that structure. I should point out that with Google Docs, one of the nice things that their artificial intelligence is doing is they are actually making an attempt when you apply these kinds of formatting changes to apply some structure to it. And that's what we're seeing appearing in that document outline uh, to the side here. So normally people would continue formatting in this manner. So I'm just going to copy this format a couple times for the heading. So you see Google's making an attempt to make this more accessible uh, using its artificial intelligence. And paper cutting in Mexico. But now these two styles of paper cutting that the paper talks about are actually uh, Polish styles. So those would be formatted a bit different than the main body headings here. So I'm actually going to just change the size here and maybe make this bold italics so it stands out a bit differently. Now to our eyes that may suggest that while these things actually fall under Poland because they're a little smaller and um, just to the eye look like they belong under there. But what we're seeing with the artificial intelligence is Google Docs isn't recognizing that that's the case. It's actually treating all of these as equally important. Even though they're making a good attempt with this additional artificial intelligence feature, it doesn't quite go where we need it to be fully accessible. So what I'm going to focus on now is showing you how to utilize these style features. And conveniently, they're actually positioned right next to all these tools we've already been using. If you look just to the left of the font drop down, this section here that says normal text is our styles feature. So what I'm going to do is go back to the art of paper cutting and rather than have this non-accessible feature applied I'm going to go ahead and choose a style called title. Each document we have it's good to have a title identified and when you run them through accessibility checkers that's one of the things that the accessibility checkers will look for so this is telling me the title of my document and then for each of these main focuses of paper cutting, I'm going to use the Heading 1 option. Once the style is applied, such as Heading 1 here, you might want to make some changes to make it more visually appealing or to match uh, other documents that you're creating. So this would be a good time to go ahead and make those changes. Let's suppose we wanted to use Meriwether here instead. Maybe change the color of the font to uh, this orange here. So I go ahead after applying the style, make some formatting changes. And then what we'll do is with that still highlighted, I'm going to right click on the selected text. And you'll note at the bottom of this contextual menu, it says update heading one 
to match whatever we have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And what it's done now is it's told Google Docs, if I go to apply heading one again, to use those settings that I, I specified up here. And we'll actually see a preview of that now rather than the black text we saw earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the remaining pieces of text here. There is also a keyboard shortcut. If you use Control Alt and the number of the uh, heading level, in this case one, Control Alt one is a way to apply the heading without having to mouse up to the drop down. And then for Kirby style and the second style, I'm going to go ahead and do Control Alt two or choose heading two from this drop down. Again, I'll make some changes here, perhaps change the color to a different style, drop the font size down a little bit, and maybe make that italic. And I'd like that applied elsewhere. So now I'll right click on my selection and update heading 2 to match, because heading 2 was what was already applied. And now when I go and select this bit of text and want to make that heading level 2, we see the changes are reflected. I'd like to apply that. By doing that, now you'll notice we corrected the problem that the AI was trying to address. So we actually see here by the nature of the outline that it's indented slightly these heading level two titles that fall under paper cutting in Poland. So for students with executive function uh, difficulties or just uh, for those who find this means of organization supportive, we can see at a glance that we've got some major headings here and then some subheadings that fall under uh, paper cutting in Poland. The other nice thing about this uh, document outline is we can click on items within the document to automatically navigate to it. Now this is only a one-page document that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but imagine if this was a three-act play that spanned 60 pages of text, having this ability to jump around and get to uh, the beginning of an act or scene uh, can be uh, a game changer for accessibility purposes. I hope you found this helpful. Please check back for additional tips. Have a good day.